study my name's d this is my wife millie so if you like what you see subscribe and hit the notification bell and if you wish to reach out to us you can email us at devoted to ya at gmail.com amos chapter three verses one to three amos chapter three verse one to three It says, hear this word that Yahuwah has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt. This is very key here. O children of Israel. That's what we're focusing on. And what is this in context to? Against the whole family which I brought up. We hear this language, I, I told you I wanted to break down when we hear the language, I brought you up, I brought you up when I brought you up. Now this particular passage is letting us know a specific time that he's speaking about when he brought up Israel and it's in relation to from the land of Israel. I mean, from the land of Egypt, sorry. All right, and he says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. This is how special Israel is to Yahuwah. He could have chosen the Indian people. He could have chosen the Chinese. He could have chosen anybody, but he chose Israel. He chose the, he chose Abraham. He chose the son of Shem, but Shem, Ham, and Japheth had many children. Noah has a lot of grandchildren on the earth. Out of all the children, God chose to start a covenant with Abraham. And Abraham had other children. But out of Abraham's children, he chose Isaac to continue his promised covenant with that he was going to be a special people and they were going to be a special nation. Isaac had other children, but out of Isaac's children, he chose Jacob. So by the time you get Jacob, there's all these other Abrahamites, if you want to call it, Noah, Noahites. There's, they're all over the earth. We're all related to one another. Everybody on the planet, we all come from Noah. That's one thing we all have in common. Whether you're white, whether you're black, whether you're brown, red, whatever the case may be, we all come from Noah. That's a fact, okay? But out of all the children, the father chose a specific ethnic group and he chose Israel. He could have chosen anybody else, but he didn't. And he says, you only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquities. So being that you're so special that I chose you out of all ethnicities in the earth, I'm going to have a higher standard for you. Because I chose you and I set you apart and I gave you commands and I made a covenant with you, I'm going to treat you differently than I treat other people on the earth. And so, and they did. Israel got, Israel got a lot of spankings from the father, you know, in ways that other nations did it. Um, and then it goes into verse three, can two walk together unless they are agreed? A lot of people like to use this verse to talk about marriage between husband and wife, which is correct to use. Um, but in this context, it's talking about Yahuwah as the father or yeah, Yahuwah as the father and Israel as children or Yahuwah as, uh, the husband and Israel as the wife as well. But that's what he's, the context here is about Yahuwah's relationship with his people, Israel. All right, let's continue. Amos chapter three, verses seven to eight. It says, surely Yahuwah God does nothing unless he reveals his secret to his servants, the prophet. A lion has roared, who will not fear? Yahuwah God has spoken, who can but prophesy? A lot of this stuff. A lot of these type of things, like the intimate relationship the father has with his people as husband, as father, as these things are revealed by prophets. I don't believe that people can just out of nowhere come and start either changing what the father has said 
or bringing some new revelation unless they are prophets. I've talked about this a lot before. There's a lot of people. I believe we can prophesy. I believe the Father can give us a prophecy. That's, that's very possible. But I believe for you to actually say something, you can repeat something that's, that's already been said. But for you to give something new or fresh that's prophetic in its nature, I think you need to show me a resume. I always say that all the time. Show me your resume. Are you a prophet? Have you prophesied things in the past and they come to pass? Where's your record? Where's your resume? If you don't have a resume, stop proclaiming to be something that you're not. That is my rule of thumb. I take prophecy very seriously. Isaiah chapter 46, verse 3 says, Listen to me, O house of Jacob, and all the remnant of the house of Israel, who have been upheld by me from birth who have been carried from the womb. Here's, here's one of those passages that uh, Yahuwah kind of relates like a mother, right? Here's one of those, the proof passages to back up what I was saying earlier. Who've been upheld by me from birth, who have been carried from the womb. Deuteronomy chapter one, verse 30 to 31. It says, Yahuwah, your God, who goes before you, he will fight for you according to all he did for you in Egypt before your eyes and in the wilderness where you saw how Yahuwah your God carried you. So in the previous passage where it says here, uh, Yahuwah says who have carried, been carried from the womb, questions that should be asked is, okay, what, what is he talking about? Carry, when was he carrying them? What, what, what time period is he talking about? Here's a passage that gives us that answer specifically talking about in Egypt before your eyes and in the wilderness where you saw how Yahuwah, your God, carried you. So it's almost as if when Israel came out of Egypt and crossed that Red Sea, it's as if they were coming out of the womb. I don't know. I'm just giving, I'm just giving, a, I'm just, yeah, I'm just throwing an idea out there. As a man carries his son in all the way that you went until you came to this place. Nursing could be another way of saying it. Nursing is. Yeah. That's how Septuagint would say it. Mm -hmm. Deuteronomy 4, verse 7, it says, For what great nation is there that God, uh, that, that has God so near to it as Yahuwah our God is to us? For whatever reason, we may call upon him. Uh, Jeremiah 31, 9. They shall come with weeping and with supplications. I will lead them. I will cause them to walk by the rivers of waters in a straight way in which they shall not stumble. For I am a father to Israel, and Ephraim is my firstborn. Ephraim is a nickname uh, for the house of Israel as well, um, the northern kingdom. And if I'm not mistaken, I think Ephraim could be a nickname for Israel in general um, as well. He's a, one of those nicknames, those poetic names, House of Ephraim, House of uh, Israel, House of Judah, House of, uh, oh, what's the other one? Yezreel, I think. I think Yezreel is used as well. Mm -hmm.